Hey viewers, welcome to this video. Uh, in this uh, particular video, I've been taking down a MacBook rechargeable battery. This was given to me by a colleague of mine and um, wanted to see if it had any charge in it, which it did not. So I decided that I wanted to see what was in it. And I believe these MacBook rechargeable batteries are lithium iron polymer batteries or, or sometimes known as LiPo batteries. But um, they uh, don't contain any lithium metal. They contain lithium, cobalt, and oxygen or lithium nickel uh, oxygen. So it would be a lithium cobalt oxide type of polymer. And uh, they contain um, volatile solvents, harmful solvents that are highly flammable and sometimes under pressure. And they also contain electrodes such as a carbon electrode and a copper electrode in close proximity. So I wanted to see, uh, just take this down. And what I did was I already ripped out one of the cells, as you can see here. And uh, this is what they look like there were these screws that were holding this thing shut and I did not have a screwdriver that would work with any of these so I had to basically rip the metal open with a pair of pliers to expose the batteries. The positive and negative terminals of the battery are these strips here and I made sure I just cut them so there would be no short and I'm going to remove another of the cells just to show you they have pretty much glued down to this backing which is metal. This part here is made of a light alloy, probably aluminum. So uh, I'm just gonna take one off, the way I took this first one off. Um, and these are serious up cells. I believe each one of these is two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's basically six times 2.7 volts, I think it is. 2.7 or 3.7 volts uh, to give the correct voltage to run the computer. So better to use a piece of wood. I'm cheating and using a screwdriver here, but uh, I'm going to try not to perforate the plastic backing of these. There is actually a little divider in between to keep the cells separate from one, in, one another, and you can take that out like that. And um, make sure you wear gloves when you do this, because you do not want to to get the electrolyte on your hands. And here it is. Here's my electrodes. So I'm gonna cut these to avoid any shorts. Cut right through it like that. Here we go. And I'm just checking it to make sure that it's not shorting, which it is not. In fact, I'm gonna actually since I'm not planning on using these, I'm just gonna pretty much uh, just tear them apart. Like that, and uh, here's, here's where the two cells are joined. So I'm gonna cut this. Like that. And here's my two cells that are stuck together with some pretty strong glue. Now we're gonna try and separate these by just teasing these apart and uh, try not to tear the plastic casing. These cells are actually flexible, a little bit flexible, but not that flexible. So you don't wanna break them. There we go. And it looks like the cases are intact and uh, Here's one that I that I just opened. Let me show you that one. I've actually put it in this bag because it has a lot of argon in it. I mean, this bag has argon in it, just in case there's any reaction. And uh, there's a lot of solvent actually soaked into this stuff. That black layer that you can see there is carbon. And then if you wash that off, there's copper right underneath it. And there's a solvent, there's a solvent, uh, that's soaked into it. It's a volatile solvent, and I believe it polymerizes and depolymerizes. The, the layers in the cell have to be tightly opposed, as you can see there. And if too much solvent vapor builds up in the cell, the cell starts to bulge, 
and it separates the layers and you lose cell performance. And I believe that's what must have happened with this one. But that's what it looks like. It's some amorphous looking uh, carbon uh, on top of a copper layer. And uh, then you have your, your lithium uh, cobalt oxide on that. And that can have uh, various states of uh, polymerization. That uh, becomes uh, lithium cobalt oxide. LiCO2 uh, when it loses the uh, stored charge, the stored electrons. And uh, it's a reversible reaction. You can charge it back up and discharge it. And there's uh, a good Wikipedia site where you can check how these things work. But anyway, I thought I'd show you that. Okay, now I'm going to um, check the voltage in these cells. And here's, here's one of them. See what's see what's got any any power. So I'm going to put one on this electrode here. There's two electrodes, as you can see there. You can just see one of them, one of them right there, and the other one is, is right here. So we'll put um, one on there, like that, and we'll put the other one on here, and see what we get. We're getting about 1.5 volts. Hang on, let me just place this one better. So I've only left myself a short piece of the electrode, so hard to maintain contact. So one point, about 1.4, 1.5 volts on this cell. No much. Let's try this one. Let's see what we get on this. So this one. Check this. about 1.5 on this. So there's some power in these things. And um, six of these things together would give about, with 1.5 volts, would give about 9 volts. And uh, I'm looking at the rating of this. It says here that the rating is 10.8 volts. So this must have had some dead cells. And uh, if I was to do the same thing with the cells in here, I could find out maybe which, which one of them is dead. I don't see any obviously swollen ones, but um, pretty sure that that's probably what's wrong with this thing. Not so much. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching this and uh, please check back for more videos. I'm going to do another one with a regular lithium battery to uh, try and extract the lithium as one of my future projects would be to uh, use the lithium metal from the battery to make cesium metal. But that's at a later date, but uh, please check back um, for a video on opening up a regular lithium battery. I'm going to make sure it's charged first so I can maximize the yield of lithium. If you use a discharged battery, you're not going to get that much lithium out of it. Thanks for watching. Come back for more videos.